In this lesson, you're going to learn how to solve systems of linear equations in two variables with two equations using Cramer's rule. So you probably already learned how to solve systems of equations using the substitution method, the elimination method, the graphing method, and other methods. But in Cramer's rule, what we're doing is we're using matrices and specifically the determinant of a matrix. So let me show you how to work through this uh, with this example right here, 2x minus y equals 7, x minus y equals 4. Hey, now an easy way to set this up is to go like this, x equals and y equals. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the determinant of a matrix divided by the determinant of a matrix. Same thing for y, the determinant of a matrix divided by the determinant of a matrix. And where we get these matrices from is going to be from the coefficients, okay, the numbers in front of the variables here. So we've got 2, 1, negative 1, negative 1, same thing for the denominator, 2, 1, negative 1, negative 1, same thing for y, 2, 1, negative 1, negative 1, 2, 1, negative 1, negative 1. Now, when you're solving for x, what you want to do is you want to replace the coefficients in front of x with the solution. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to erase the 2 and the 1, I'm going to replace it with 7 and 4. When I'm solving for y, I want to replace the coefficients in front of the y with the solutions 7 and 4. The denominator I did not change. I just left those as the coefficients in front of the variables there for both x and y. So that's all we really did was we just changed the coefficients for x, the coefficients for y in the numerator. Now you see these vertical bars. That means to tell us to take the determinant of the matrix. Just a refresher, the determinant of a matrix is going to be this diagonal, a times d, minus this diagonal, b times c. Okay, so that's a quick way to do it. So over here, what we have is 7 times negative 1, which is negative 7, minus negative 1 times 4, which is negative 4. Of course, when we subtract, that's like adding the opposite. It's negative 3. Over here in the denominator, this diagonal, negative 2, minus this diagonal, negative 1 times 1 is negative 1. When we subtract, it's like adding the opposite. That's equal to negative 1. And so we have a negative 3 divided by a negative 1, which is 3, so that's what x equals. For y, it's going to be the exact same thing. We take this diagonal, 8, minus this diagonal, 7. So that's 1. And then the denominator is going to be the same as the denominator here. But let's just do it again for practice. That's going to be negative 2 minus negative 1, which is equal to negative 1. And 1 divided by negative 1 is negative 1. So our solution is going to be 3 comma negative 1, and that just represents where these two lines would cross or intersect. If you want to see another example, follow me over to that video right there, and we'll do another one.